There's three different settings in the ads manager that could be secretly sabotaging your ads performance or at the very least wasting some of your ad budget. In today's video, I'm gonna show you those three different settings. I'm gonna to explain to you what they do. And I'm gonna show you where they are so that you can turn them off. I turn them off in all the ad accounts that I manage and I recommend that you do the same. So without further ado, check this out. All right, you guys, so we're in the ad account. Let's check the three spots that could be secretly draining your budgets. So first thing to check is gonna be in the top left corner, you gotta click account overview. And then in the top right hand corner, you may see something that says set up automatic adjustments, manage automatic adjustments, or you might just see a gear icon. There's a lot of different versions of this out there in the world right now. I think the one that I'm wor most worried about is if it says manage automatic adjustments, because that means it's on. But anyways, if you click set up, in my case, you can see this is where the nonsense occurs. So it says automatically apply recommendations whenever there's a chance to pr improve performance of your active campaigns and ad sets. Selecting a category will allow any recommendations that get added to be automatically applied. You can also select individual recommendations and customize how frequently they apply. So as you can see, the just look at the first one here. It says campaign structure. Ad sets may be combined or ads that are underperforming could be turned off. This may redistribute your budget. So you guys know the golden rule of meta ads is if something is working, you leave it alone. And this is something that can completely throw off your ads. You know, even, you know, it may think, oh, something is competing with something else and completely ruin the, the, the performance of something that's actually working. And if you expand this, you can see reduce auction overlap, auto apply, it will turn off ad sets for you, it checks daily, uh, or reduce audience fragmentation, so it combines ad sets, audiences, and budgets. So it could close something that's working and then merge it with something else that's working and ruin both, basically. <laughs> so you gotta be very careful. Um, check out the audience one, it says, targeting settings may be adjusted to reach more people who might be interested in your ad, so they might just turn on Advantage Plus Audience if it's off, they check daily. Um, it says ads are shown beyond some settings when it may improve in performance, any location and age limits will still be applied. So as you can see, they will just start changing your targeting just cause. Uh, creative format, you can see they'll, they'll turn on a bunch of Advantage Plus creative enhancements. So if you ever see your ads in the wild and you're like, why does it look like that? Why is there an overlay? Why is there music? Why is the, the image expanded or cropped? This might be why. So make sure that all this stuff is turned off. You can see just the last two here. They might start changing the placements uh, on you. And then this last one is spend and schedule. This one is grayed out for me, but it says basically it'll mess around with your bids if you're doing cost caps or bid caps. So that's something that you really need to look out for. So make sure that this is turned off in the top left and that all these are turned off and all of this is unchecked. Very important. Okay, now what else? That's the first one. If you go back to your ads manager, if this was on, they may have already created rules for you. So what I just showed actually creates rules and rules live in here. So if you click more and then manage rules, once it feels like loading, come on, dude. Um, you can see here, in my case, I don't have any rules because I deleted them all. Uh, this ad account did have them, uh, but basically that those automatic adjustments that I was showing earlier will create rules here. And you need to make sure that they're off and deleted because I've actually seen Meta turn them back on automatically. So super important that everything in here is off unless you've set them up right and, and you use automated rules. I personally don't use automated rules. I do everything manually, but you know, if there was any made on your behalf, I recommend that you turn them off. Also, you can check here, see automatic adjustments, and it takes you to the same place. Okay, so this is the second place. Now the third place. Let's go back to the ads manager. Okay, the third place that you need to check is advertiser settings. So once you go to advertiser settings, you click here, Advantage Plus Creative. And in this ad account, it's actually grayed out. Okay, but you can see what it says here. It says, we may show fewer than 5% of your ad impressions with new enhancements. This can help us improve our creative enhancements, meaning meta, 
and increase performance for your ads, which sounds like an afterthought. Uh, turning this off will not affect your Advantage Plus creative preferences. So basically, it'll use up to 5% of your ad spend to train their algorithm, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, and they turn all this stuff on automatically. This ad account doesn't have it. Um, I'm going to check another ad account real quick to see if I can find one that's on. As you can see, I've, you know, I've got a bunch of ad accounts here I'm managing. No, this one doesn't have it. It seems to be grayed out on a lot of accounts right now. Let me check another one. Aha, here's one. Found one. Okay, so take a look at this. I've unchecked it here, but since I last did this, they added more of these. So down here, it says test new AI generation features. If you're currently using all Advantage Plus Creative Enhancements, you can test new AI features and use innovative creative improvements before other advertisers. Ooh, they're trying to make it sexy. You could be our guinea pig, basically, is what they're saying. Choose the features you would like to test below, and we may deliver them on fewer than 5% of your impressions across all eligible campaigns associated with its ad account. So you can see here, translate media. We'll translate your voiceover, add captions, and create text overlays to help people understand your ad better. Okay, that's wild. You know, I definitely don't want that on. We're only advertising in one language in this case. So why would I want that? Comment keywords will use AI to extract positive and neutral keywords from your ad's comments and display them in a proprietary unit underneath the ad. Easy to assemble, sturdy, great. This one I don't, you know, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, creative call to action stickers. So you can see they're, you know, they're adding some stickers here. Image animation, image expansion, background generation, music generation review keywords. So we will use AI to extract positive keywords from your pages reviews and display them in a proprietary. This is the same as the one above. What's the difference? Comment keywords. And this is review keywords. I see slightly different text keywords, basically same thing. Keywords and phrases taken from your original text can be displayed on, on or around your ad creative as text overlays, footers, prominent headlines, and more. So again, if you're taking the time to make good ads, right? You've done your market research. You've spent hours figuring out what the best headlines should be. You've really worked hard on your primary text, the first sentence of your primary text, your description, everything. And then now Meta comes and just like adds a bunch of stuff on top. It can ruin your ad. So uh, that's why I turn it off. Reword identified phrases. So we'll identify phrases from your text options and reword them to better accompany, accompany your ad creative as text overlays. If you've seen their AI text generator, it's not very good. It's not the best copywriter I've ever seen. So why would I want it rephrasing my copy, which you know I've spent a lot of time making? So that's, again, no good. So as you can see, in a lot of ad accounts that I see, like the people don't know this, all these are on and you have to go in and turn them off. And you have to periodically check because they will, just like this one, I had already turned these off. They, they enrolled me automatically in four more and I wasn't aware. So always check back here to make sure that this is unchecked and this, all these are off, okay? Um, I've seen all the, the three different things that I've showed you today, I've seen them dramatically reduce performance on accounts. I've seen it ruin uh, campaigns. So, you know, if you're a conscious, you know, advertiser, you're trying to save your money or spend it effectively, it's very important that you're not spending up to 5% of your ad budget a day training Meta's algorithm. So um, that's everything, guys. That's, that's what I wanted to show you. I hope this saves you money. I hope this saves you headaches. And I uh, really appreciate you watching. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate you watching. Um, if you checked your ad accounts and you saw they were on, that, that could have been part of the reason why you were having some bad performance. If you're looking for a place that will keep you up to date with all the latest changes in meta ads, or you just want to be around other advertisers, or you want direct access to me to ask questions anytime, I highly recommend that you join my school community. It's called Meta Ads Mastery. It's growing very fast and the price is going to increase as we continue to grow. So if you're watching this, this is the lowest the price will ever be. So definitely check it out, join up. The link is in the description, as well as a one year money back guarantee. There's no other school group that offers that. So there's absolutely no risk for you to join. Just hop in, check it out. If it's not for you, no worries at all. So I really hope to see you on the inside. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.
Take care.